starting with the Decartred College team. They start with a 4-3-3 formation. They will have Jordan Marshall in goal. A back four, Jaheem Scaife at left back, Rasad Bailey at right back, Andrew Simpson and Javon Davis in the heart of their defense. Giovanni Anderson, Israel Edwards and Raheem Russell in the middle and a front three of Najeri Gale, Antoine Baker and Tyane Lambert. And how about Mayday? They want to finish this competition on a high and get a fourth win this campaign. They have a 3-5-2 formation. Janoy Sinclair will be in goal. Left back Malik Anderson, Sean Senior at centre back and right back Joel Forbes making up a back three. Malachi Booth, Javante Wright and Dave Hines along with Tion Reed and Devonte Mighty, the wide men in the middle with Carlin Bent and Sajay Roberts up front for the UL Thompson coached Mayday High. So this important match, the cartridge in a full purple on the front foot early. Good strike coming in from Andrew Simpson. But Janoy Sinclair had a really good game between the sticks. He turned up at the important moments. He was there at the near post again, even though that was just wide from Javon Davis. And the cartridge, even though they had a lot of pressure, they couldn't find an opener. And then they created that challenge that forced Jordan Marshall into that challenge, which gave up a penalty. And Javante Wright, who had scored two penalties leading into this match, scored his third from 12 yards with the right boot, wrong foot in Marshall. And his sixth of the season. And yeah, Mayday with their first goal against the Cartwright this year as well, after that 4 0 loss seven days before. The Cartwright, they would draw level at the end of the, nearing the end of the first half. Bailey with the strike towards the far post. Beating an ever-present Sinclair. Giovanni Anderson picking up his fifth assist of the season. And Bailey it was to add his third goal. 1-1 in the first half. It would go to the break like that. Decartret with this final opportunity in the first half. Look at this strike. It was a combo effort. First, that strike which tongued the palms of Sinclair. And then from the resulting corner, a really good headed opportunity which wasn't buried. But yeah, Anderson, he buried his. Good delivery into the area from Mighty in and around the six yard area and a thumping head off from Malik Anderson, his first of the season. And that came after 68 minutes. It was good enough for May Day. They should have added a third. But Jordan Marshall was big. Yeah, 2-1 the lead. And then this acrobatic clearance off the line from Andrew Simpson to keep his team in it. But unfortunately for them, they couldn't find the equalizer or the go-ahead goal. That attempt from Giovanni Anderson, the last of it. And after 90 minutes, did Cartwright suffer a loss against Mayday for the first time in four years. 2-1 Mayday. So, five shots on target from 17 attempts for Mayday. Decartre, they have the better of the attack in play, some nine shots on target from 20, but they just weren't clinical enough. Four yellow cards shown from Andre Farkasen. Decartre with the majority of the possession, but Mayday with the majority of the goals. It's a big win. Four wins in 10 games for Mayday. They win after 90 minutes by two goals to one. Our man of the match, is with Kimania Sullivan, no other than captain, Mr. Senior. Thank you, thank you, Chris. I'm joined by man of the match, Sean Senior, the skipper. Sean, you were in tears after the game. Speak to me about that outpour of emotion. I just see you we fight to the end, sir. And it was a very tough game. I didn't believe that the boys have that many fighting them, sir. So I'm very proud of them. And that's a building block for the seasons to come, right? Seeing yes, that sir. your team has it in them to pull off wins over rivals like this. Sir, sir, to me, sir, 
the boys did very well. And these boys, as I see here, can play for three or four more seasons, even me, sir. So I'm very proud of them, sir, today. And you had an embrace with your coach, Coach Thompson, afterwards. Speak to me about what he told you. Because in the season, sir, I was very emo I was very nervous at the start of it, sir, and he motivated me, sir. So I lo love the coach and the team, sir. Any words for the fans at home that are tuning in? For the fans that come support us, I'm very proud and thank you very much. All right, Sean, congratulations. Yes, sir. Yeah, Sean Cena there, skipper of May Day High. The winners, he's greeted by chance of skipper. Yeah. On to coach Auxili of the Cartwright. Coach, you said today was a final, didn't yes. get it done. How did you see the game today? I think it was a game where we created a number of chances. Unfortunately, we were not able to capitalize on the chances. You saw the game, there were um, instances where we were totally dominating position of the game. And that's football for you. There are times when you, you play well, but the result just does not give you um, that favor that you would have anticipated. Do you think your team took it for granted that because you beat Mayday 4 0 earlier in the season, they could have coasted today? Well, as I told you earlier um, when we were speaking, I said that um, psychological, this team has some, some problems there. You know? um, so I think it was more psychological today. Um, we didn't play according to game plan. I think we could have been more um, patient. We could have been more patient in our build up. We got the chances. We could have been more composed when we, were, when we got the chances. But such is the um, football. I want to say congrats on me. They, they played today, they fought, and, and, and we give them credit. Well, coach, it's down to mathematics now. I hope you're keeping your calculator close for that Very third close. spot. Um, speak to me about how optimistic you are that you can make it through. Well, I still believe that we are in the mix or making it to the second round. Uh, it's just a matter of who will be playing. I believe if Central should win their next game, then we should be moving on to the next round. However, I would have wanted it a better way, but um, let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, very optimistic, Coach Auxily there. We'll be now joined by the man whose cry was revenge, mm -hmm. Coach Thompson. Yeah. Coach, revenge. Yes. And you made good on that I promise. How good you. was it? How good does it feel? Oh, it feels awesome. I enjoy this. See what I told you? If my boys come out here and play like how we trained, it's only Manchester can give us a fight. And you said your team was filled with youngsters. youngsters. It's a platform for you to build and probably surprise a few next season. See, when you have a team with like 10 under 16 players, we are building and it goes through a process. And today, they let me feel overwhelmed. Is this you sending a message to the other teams looking forward that look out, May Day is coming next year? Sure it is a message. So they have to look out for us. Next year, we're going to be the spoilers. And in terms of messages for the supporters at home that tuned into this game, any messages for them? Oh, I'm so grateful for these supporters. Even when they come to the bus and I say, remember, we can carry on the bus. OK, coach, you're going to see me at the game. And when I look, it's our loyal supporters there. And that really gives us a moral boosting. And I love that. Congratulations, coach. Thank you, sir.